Yeah, everybody's talking about that. I'm interested in how this political coalition, Daniel, how do all this political coalition come together, put in new folks uh, in new offices in the economy, business and whatever? How do they all come together into the uh, European Business Climate Index? We have the latest numbers there and it looks very rosy, smelling nice. Explain that to yes. us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the current business uh, climate that we have here in uh, Germany, but also in Europe, is very uh, promising. Uh, yes, we got the uh, latest business uh, climate index uh, for the Eurozone. Uh, it even went up again from 37 points to a level of 43.2 points. This is the best mark that we have seen uh, in uh, since uh, the year of uh, 2000. So uh, that's also uh, giving the market here a little boost. We don't really expect to be at the trading day uh, where Wall Street was yesterday with a plus of 2%. But yeah, let me tell you, investors here are quite relieved that uh, today's trading day is looking again much better. Oh, it's nice chatting with you today. Uh, Daniel Coop live from the uh, Frankfurt Stock Exchange, GWTV for Channels Television. We'll get some time in the future, in the next days ahead, to get together. Uh, let's uh, uh, touch down uh, in the United States, where it's about, uh, we're heading to 8 o'clock in the morning. We're just about less than two hours to the opening of Wall Street uh, today, where the market is looking already uh, reddish. Let's check in with the stock futures, uh, looking a bit uh, reddish ahead of the open, setting up the Dow to resume its recent slump uh, a day after it rallied across the board. Those are the three major indices in the futures market you're looking at about uh, two hours ago 0.94 percent a negative for the dow industrials 24,560 that is uh, tapering a little bit about 24,722 as i'm looking at it right now on market watch the s p futures s p 500 is read, was reading 266.25 uh, and that's also about uh, 2683.0 that's uh, a shipping a trimming that one percent negative position about uh, two hours ago now to about 0.42 percent and nasdaq around the times square you know where that is the where the future says 665 uh, uh, that's what i'm reading right now a negative uh, uh, three cents of a percent 0 0.73 uh, the market is looking a little bit uh, negative before the opening bell on wall street about an hour and a half from now you're interested in the global markets uh, stick with the opening bell on Wall Street, and everyone is covering that from around the world. That's where the market finished up in the green. Dinner time in Lagos yesterday, and now it's early morning, the morning after, unless the weather, the market will go green at the go. 9.30. That's, that's about that. 8.30 in the morning there in the U.S. Let's go to uh, Asia. It's Tokyo right now. It's uh, dinner time in Tokyo if you're there. Then you'll be looking at having some dinner right now where the market took a bit of a breather on Wednesday. One or two markets sidestep the other after the initial boost from Wall Street rebound on Tuesday. Japanese uh, Nikkei 225 uh, closed uh, 264537 as investors stayed defensive following the last session stumble. So that South Korea's uh, Kospi. Reversed early gains to finish the session lower by 2.31%, uh, 23.96. Uh, in Sydney, the Australian S&P ESX of 200 bounced uh, about uh, three-quarter of a percent. That's 0 0.75 to end 58.76 as energy and material stocks led the counters. Uh, if you're looking at the Hong Kong market, that's the Hang Seng uh, raised early gains to track lower by 0.76%. Uh, Meantime, uh, you find um, uh, mainland markets extending losses. Uh, their Hong Kong shares was down. Ch uh, Chinese Construction Bank and Bank of China uh, were lower, 1.92% and 1.37%. Uh, uh, the Shanghai Composite was a little bit of a sell-off, uh, declined 1.81%. To close at the figure and the extension market, that's a composite, that's the a cousin to the uh, Shanghai composite, 0.68% uh, ending 1714.39. The blue chip CSI 300 finished also lower, much deeper, however, 2.38%. Uh, Okay, we're done with the markets globally around the world. Let's come back to some core economic stories and business and investments. A Côte d'Ivoire, that's the world's number one uh, cocoa producer and, of course, the largest in the world, plans to sell the equivalent of as much as 1.2 billion U.S. dollars of bonds as the nation seeks to lock in borrowing costs before further U.S. Federal Reserve rate hikes. 
Uh, one of West Africa's largest economies, uh, but most likely the third after Nigeria and Ghana, hasn't yet appointed the deal advisors for the $1.2 billion euro bonds, but it wants to hold a roadshow for the steal of 850 million euros to 1 billion euros of debt before the end of next month. Uh, I, I could have, I will sell dollar and euro securities and is considering a uh, third French denominated in the euro pegged CFA franc that's used in eight countries in West Africa. The nation will join other issues in sub Saharan Africa, such as Nigeria and Ghana, rushing to sell debt at a time when the US Fed uh, remains on its policy tightening path, pushing yields across bonds much higher. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire issued $1.25 billion uh, of 16-year bonds with a 625 uh, yield and 625 million euros of 8-year notes yielding 5.125% in an auction that attracted almost $10 billion last June. Uh, let's get into the world of mining, where South Africa's Sibanye Gold is considering moving its primary listing to North America, away from Johannesburg, the financial capital of Africa, if you want to put it that way, arguably, to allow the miner to tap capital in that market and help fund a number of his future deals. Uh, Sibanye is focusing, uh, for now, on reducing his debt following the $2.2 billion U.S. dollars acquisition of a U.S.-based steel water mining, ensuring its operations perform well and bedding down the proposed takeover of Lone Mine PLC. Let's say this here. Lone Mine is also a South Africa-based uh, uh, mining company. The Lone Mine purchase would result in Platinum Group Metals accounting for more than 70% of Simbanya's production by the year 2021. Uh, Simbanya would probably uh, consider a primary listing in New York or Toronto to gain exposure to a wider set of investors while maintaining his primary is listing in Johannesburg. Let's come back after the break. We have a story about Nigeria's clearing and depository house rolling out a new three-year strategy to focus not just on Nigeria, but on global partnerships. We'll be back in two. <laughs> 